Today was another classic workout day up here at my off-grid cabin in the woods. I worked out my core, and then I worked out my upper body, specifically my chest and my triceps, and then I finished the workout with some cardio. Now, I am sitting here at the end of this day, and I am ready to feast on some classic ground beef tacos here. Very excited because I'm very tired and very hungry, but I'm gonna take you guys through the workout. So, the workout started off this morning. First thing in the morning upon waking, I did a 15 minute ab workout. I've got a couple different follow along ab routines. If you guys care to try what you see me doing right now, I'll put the link in the description to those videos. And I definitely recommend you giving those a shot. It takes a lot of practice over and over and over to be able to do these routines full, like the full 15 minutes without breaking form, but you can get there. You just gotta work for it, don't give up. After my ab exercise, I jumped over to the garage where my workout equipment is, and for whatever reason today, I did not feel like running the generator and plugging in the lights in the garage. Don't really know why, I just felt like kind of having a more dim light situation. And it was sunny early in the morning, so I opened up the garage door, opened up the other door, and just kind of had a lot of natural light in there already. And then I turned on the lantern light for a little bit extra. So the footage might be a little bit dim, but hey, that's... That's what I felt like doing. So <laughs> started off the workout with some dumbbell bench press, four sets, starting off with lighter weight, doing about 15 reps on the first set. And then the second set did 12 reps. And then the third set did 10 reps. And then the fourth set was all 52 and a half pounds. That's as heavy as those dumbbells go. And I repped out that fourth set pushing myself. And then I worked out the chest some more by doing some dumbbell chest flies. Four sets of the chest flies, focusing on maintaining control the entire time as I'm holding them. So controlling on the way down and controlling on the contraction on the way up. I'm in total control. I'm never just like dropping the weights and waiting until the bottom to lift back up. I'm just nice, slow, controlled, feeling it all the way down, all the way up. That goes for pretty much every one of these exercises. I'm in control at all times. So after the chest flies, I adjusted the bench and did some dips. The first set of dips, I used the black resistance band. And then the second set, I used the red resistance band. And then I did two more sets with just my body weight. And you don't wanna go too crazy low with the dips because you can develop some shoulder pain if you start going too low on a regular basis. So it's a, it's a delicate balance of like, I think the rule is like 90 degrees. I go a little bit past 90 degrees because I don't really feel it otherwise. 90 degrees is like here. That feels like I'm not getting full extension of the tricep, so I'll go a little bit past 90 degrees. And then up, and then a little bit past 90, and then back up. All right, first bite of the taco. This is exciting. Mm. Oh, so good. After the dips, I did skull crushers, the easy curl bars. Easy curl has the kind of angles on the handles it's not a straight barbell I and mean, i really like the way those feel and the way it allows you to kind of go into your head and then back up and then like basically almost touch my forehead with the bar and then back up those are great started out with 40 pounds and luckily i got two sets of those easy curl bars so i can just keep 40 pounds that's like my classic warm-up weight and then i can grab the other one and i already have it set up to be 55 pounds which is currently what i'm working with i'd like to jump up to 60 maybe next week we'll give it a shot but right now doing 10 reps on multiple sets with 55 pounds skull crusher that's that kills it's like very difficult for me to do right now but i pushed it out man that was tough how you push out 10. Let's go. Then I finished the weightlifting portion of my workout by doing dumbbell skull crushers. It's the same movement, but now I'm holding dumbbells in each arm individually and I can 
focus on isolating the triceps. It's kind of weird. It's like, why would you, Diego, why are you doing the same thing? It's like the same movement, but it's actually, I find it difficult for me to get a crazy pump in my triceps. Like my biceps are so easy. I can just destroy them and like, it's easy for me to get a good pump in my biceps and build my biceps as much as I want. But my triceps are, um, I don't have good tricep genetics, I guess you could say. Very hard for me to get them to grow. But I feel it fantastic, like crazy, crazy, when I just do that skull crusher movement. Individual dumbbell skull crushers, it's, uh, it just kills. So I'm gonna try and focus on that over the next few weeks, see where that gets me. It's kombucha, not beer. Oh, goodness. And then after my weightlifting workout, I edited a video all day long. <laughs> so usually I finish the weightlifting and then I go right to my run, but I had, I had to finish this video today and I, I just had to get that done. So I was thinking like, maybe I won't even run today, but I finished the video pretty late. <laughs> and that's why I'm so starving right now because I was, I was like, all right, I should just, it's like six o'clock and uh, I should just make dinner, eat it and then get ready to go to bed. But I was like, no, you have to get in your run. Even if it means leaving right now at six o'clock and being out there for an hour and then getting back and then taking 30 minutes to cook dinner and then not eating it until like 7.30 or eight o'clock, which is, oh my God, it's nine. <laughs> it's nine right now. So long day, but I got my cardio in. So I said run earlier, but I did not run. I hiked to the top of the hill. It's the classic hike slash run spot that's closest to the cabin. And it was just, beautiful today. I mean, not a cloud in the sky. At least I didn't see one. And uh, man, hard to beat those conditions. Check out this bird just floating in the wind. Wouldn't you love to be able to do that? Just spread your arms and float like that. Just let the wind carry you. That would be pretty awesome. So I made it to the top of the hill and then I walked my way back down and that's how I got to right here. I appreciate you guys watching and hopefully this motivates you to uh, continue to try and work out yourself, exercise, it's good for you. Break a sweat, challenge your body, challenge your mind. Don't be lazy, you can do it. You just gotta try, all right? Now I need to stop talking and I need to eat these tacos ground beef, avocado, a little bit of greens, a little bit of Tabasco. The cheese is already melted on the ground beef and heaven in my mouth. Mm. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.